liking this method mix at the moment. So today you've joined me on a local water. It's a six acre gravel pit and it's mainly a tench water. Now the tench in here don't grow to specimen sizes but there is quite a lot of tench. And I thought I'd come down here, get the method feeder out and have a good day's tench fishing. Got a variety of baits with me. I've got worms, maggots, ground bait and I've got a variety of pellets. And that is gonna be going in the mix that I'm gonna be using for the method feeder. Now the hook bait arrangements, I'm gonna be using worm, I've got pellet. The first half of the day I'm gonna be fishing on the swing tip and the second half of the day, I'm gonna be going on the alarm. So what I normally do on my sessions when I first get here, I'll get the method feeder out, I'll fill it up, and I'll probably do about five or six casts, get a nice bit of bait out there, put a sprinkle in the pellet out in the margins, because that's where I'm fishing at the moment. And then all I'll do is I'll put the rig on, put a worm or some maggots on, cast that out, and then that's how I'll basically start the session. I'll keep sprinkling pellet in every 10, 15 minutes, refilling the feeder up if I haven't had a bite, and just basically build the swim up and then throughout the day, hopefully the tension will move in and we can start catching a few. Look at that, what an absolute beautiful looking tench. Really nice. Give a cracking fight. Not massive, but you know, the average stock of this lake, you know, you haven't got specimen size fish, but what you have got, you've got a good day's sport. And I can see he's catching a few more this afternoon as well. So I'll get this fella back and let's get some more in. Well, nice looking tench. Bait's going really well. This one was on the maggot. Just little and often approach, a few pellets here and there. And this fella decided to set the bait. Not a monster, probably average stamp of this lake. And uh, yeah, what a pleasure. Absolute cracking tench. So I'll get this one back, get some more bait in, try and get a few more tinkers. So I'll quickly run you through my setup that I use for my tench fishing, but not only my tench fishing, my bream, if I'm fishing for cruisian carp or roach fishing, this is pretty much the standard setup I'd go for. So the rod, first and foremost, that's an 11 foot surface creeper rod from Free Spirit. Now this is actually designed for surface fishing for carp, but I started using it for tench fishing. It's really light in the tip, it's a really light rod, bit of a duplon handle there. And to be honest, the past few years I've just stuck by it and it's a fantastic rod. It's not overly expensive either. I think it was about 100 quid, 120 quid. And uh, yeah, the quality, Free Spirit, second to none, really good company. And the reel on there, that's the Tournament 1600, really, really good reel, very old school, cut classic there, quite a popular reel. And it's a balanced setup as well, so it, it fits perfectly with the rod. It's not too heavy and bulky and it's one of my go-to sort of reels that I'm going to use for whether I'm tench fishing, surface fishing or like bream, rod, roach. This is the sort of go-to setup I'll use. The line on the reel is eight pound mono. That's the Dawa tournament. I use that quite a lot to be honest. It's sort of a go-to approach in any of my fishing. So the setup I'm using, this is a pretty much starting point what I'd do. I've got a 30 gram Preston Innovation method feeder just there. That's a 30 gram. And then all I'll do, this is an inline feeder. And then what I've done, because I'm fishing near the snags, I want the best bite indication I can. So I've actually made it so it's running rather than sort of a bolt rig in line, if you like. And all I've done is I've put a bead on the end of the swivel there, and then that's running on the line. And then the indication is going to be second to none. And I'll know if I've got any fish there, or if I do get a bite, I can be on the rod straight away. I've got a six inch hook link there. That's five pound drenning. 
and all I've done I've got a size 14 hook just there and then what I've done I've put a maggot clip on and I've put probably four or five maggots on and that is pretty much standard for how I'd start out when I'm fishing maggots I mean later on all I need to do is just unclip that and put probably a worm on and then that would be it just makes life a lot easier saves having to thread the, the maggots on or the worm on so that would be my starting point I'm gonna put this out now like I say really basic presentation if I do start getting a few niggles and a few misruns then all I'll do on the hook link material I'll basically shorten that down to probably four inches or even three depending on how many misruns I'm getting but that is a good starting point six inches long nice little cluster of maggots there so let's get this one out and then see if we can get some tinkers in So I'll quickly talk you through the mix that I'm using in this session. First and foremost, the ground baits. This plays a massive part. I've used all different kinds of ground baits, and this is one of my favorite ones. This is the Explosive Caster from Dynamite Baits. Really good quality bait, lots of crustaceans in there, lots of oils. And I'll start out with probably a quarter of a bag of that in the bucket. And then into that, I'll go with some three mil premium pellets. These are the Swim Stim Greens from Dynamite's as well. Really good quality pellet there. I'll probably go for a handful in there and I'll mix all that up together and then I'll go for another handful of the marine halibuts I'm a big fan of marine halibuts they're in six mils and I even use these on the hook as well I'll just drill a few out and put them on the hair rig and they've got some really good pulling power and not only for tension you know, if you're carp fishing or you're bream fishing you know that's definitely an addition that I've always got in my tackle box and last but not least the maggots these are you know i'm a big fan of red maggot i've used them for probably 30 odd years but if i'm roach fishing bream even carp you know these catch just about any fish that's swimming and with that i'll probably go for half a handful in the mix you know i want to keep the mix light i don't want to be overfeeding it i want them to be grubbing on the ground bait having the odd pellet and then my hook bait goes in there the maggot or the worm and then i'll catch them so that's the basis of the mix it's doing really well at the moment we're just catching them left right and center and now I'm going to be using worms this afternoon on the alarm so I'm going to make a fresh batch up now and then let's see how we get on they're really liking this method mix at the moment really nice if they don't have to give a cracking fight they really do one thing I love about tench fishing they give a cracking fight they really do I mean that is an absolute beautiful creature really nice Immaculate condition, not a mark on it. That's why I love coming to this lake. Nice, mature, wild gravel pit with some beautiful looking fish. They're not monsters by any means. They'll always stay the same. They always have done for the past 20 years, but it's a brilliant bit of sport. And these are absolutely stunning little tench. I mean, look at that. So I'll get this one back and then we'll, uh, we'll get some more bait in. It'd be nice to get a few more of these. It really would. They're absolutely in pristine condition, really nice. And they're absolutely tearing the bottom at the moment there's bubbles fizzing all over the margin where i've been putting the bait so i'll get this one back let's get some more method mix out see if we can get any more in so i'm gonna have a few hours on the buzz alarm and what i'm gonna do quickly show you same method feeder same tactics with that the Preston 30 gram same hook link but what I've done is I've actually gone for a worm and I've got a small little maggot clip on the end there little six inch hook link five pound mono and I've got a worm just on the end there and then basically just fill the ground bait feeder build the swim up this there's been quite a few fish the past hour a couple of hours so I'm hoping that we can get amongst some of the the fairly bigger tench so just worm just based on there and that's pretty much it really, just basic tactics. Like I said, I'm gonna have a couple of hours on the alarm, get this fella out and see if we can bag any more tench. Now 
that's looking tench, real hard fighting fish. Bait's doing really well at the moment, I've been putting quite a bit of pellet in actually. Keep the maggots going in, sort of three mil, six mil pellets. And yeah, it's a, it's a really nice bit of sport. And they're coming thick and fast as well, so I'll get this fella back. And it'd be nice for a few more like this to be honest, it really would. But yeah, what a beautiful looking creature. Wicked. Well, the session is going really well. I mean, I've lost count of how many fish we've had and I'm absolutely cream cracked. We must have had well over 70, 80 fish. I mean, it's been going off left, right and centre. On the maggot, did well, got a load of fish. The alarm, you know, the last half of this day. It just countless fish. I mean, I didn't realise there was that many tension this late, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I'm absolutely cream cracked. But the, the rigs are working, the bait's working, and that's the main thing. You know, the method mix, that big fish from, from Dynamite really is doing the business. And the worms, you know, your traditional method feeder tactics, it's all doing the business. We've just had a massive thunderstorm as well. It is absolutely blasted down for the best part of 20 minutes. So I've had to tuck myself away under a tree for, for half an hour and I've come out and the ovens have finally closed up and we've got some lovely sunshine. There's a lot of fish on the surface at the moment as well. There's a few carp as well actually, there's about a handful of carp in the lake and I've seen them moving around and although I am tempted you can't carp fish this lake so yeah, what a day's fishing. <sighs> end of the session it's been a really good day's tench fishing caught plenty of them tactics and methods have been working really well and uh, yeah I can't wait to come back and do some more fishing so I just want to thank everybody for watching if you're on the banks good luck and I'll see you in the next video